Our top story here at 6 o'clock, Bakersfield says goodbye to a member of its greatest generation. Family and friends turning out this morning to pay tribute to Augie Flores, a 98-year-old World War II veteran who continued to serve his community long after the guns of war fell silent. 17's Robert Price has his story. Augustine Joseph Flores didn't just live a life of service. At 98, he lived multiple lives of service. There was Augie Flores, orphaned at age 12, joining the U.S. Marines at 17, and just a few weeks later finding himself in the middle of the 20th century's defining conflict. This is son James, fifth oldest of his nine children. He always said that he was kind of like the, the guinea pigs, because they were the first ones to go out. You know, they had just got out of boot camp, you know, training, you going. He went to the South Pacific, where he was wounded twice in battle. All of a sudden his arm is, went flying and the rifle went shot out of his arm and he looked and he could see that he had a hole right through his arm. He was surprised the captain knew his name. And he said, you need some morphine. And he said, no, you save it for the other guys. You save it for the other guys. Flores got patched up and went back out only to be wounded a second time, this time by shrapnel. And it barely missed his spine. I think it went through his canteen. In 1951, Augie Flores married the woman who would be his wife of 65 years. And in October 1952, he joined the Bakersfield Police Department. Officer Flores, badge number 203, stayed on until 1958 when he joined the Kern County Probation Department. In 2017, a year after wife Ruth's passing, he and son James visited the World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C. as part of an honor flight. He's the guy in the Marine Corps cap. He loved that hat. It reminded him of his troops. He loved his troops. He was proud to be a Marine. Once a Marine, always a Marine. Granddaughter Mariah Flores heard a few of those stories, but to her, he wasn't a war hero so much as just Grandpa. He had so much love for his family, his community, um, his choir. <laughs> Flores sang with his church choir even after suffering a debilitating stroke a few years ago. It was therapeutic in more ways than one. Today they showed up for him. Um, they sang beautifully. To hear her tell it, her grandfather had no shortage of fans. Even growing up going to uh, restaurants, everyone loved him. He loved everyone. He was a people person. Flores died September 21st and was interred at Greenlawn Northeast on October 7th. He leaves a younger sister, Jessie, eight living children, and too many grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and great-great-grandchildren to count. World War II Marine, Bakersfield Police Officer, Kern County Probation Officer. Augie Flores was proud of all those careers, but the one he was proudest of, father. In Bakersfield, Robert Price, 17 News.